It's 2023 and I hope you all are excited and pumped up to become the best versions of ourselves. If you're in college and you aspire to learn to code, to develop apps and become a good software engineer or become a pro coder just like tourists, why didn't you become one? Then you're at the right place. Hey everyone. Hi. 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 Hey. Hey, this is Rashmi. I'm a full-time software engineer at Google. I studied computer science from IVIS in Dhanbad, where I was fortunate to have good opportunities, great mentorship by seniors and an amazing peer group to grow with. In those four years, I explored various arenas like competitive coding, machine learning, android and web development. I took part in many competitions including hackathons and contests. I have had pleasure of collaborating with many smart minds on various projects in my college as well as during my internship at Google. Having said that, I'm just another person on my journey, on my path, just like you, trying to learn new things and improve little by little as days go by. Computer science is a vast field in itself with an initially steep learning curve and when I look back I feel I wouldn't have made it here without the knowledge of the things that I'm about to share with you now. Shh. So in this episode we'll see a roadmap that will help you kickstart your preparation journey and will also make you ready to crack your dream job which could be working for a cool startup or for a prestigious company or it could be even starting your own big thing. So if this sounds exciting, let's begin. So the basic thing to get started is to learn a programming language. So depending on what your college prefers, you can choose between C++, Java or Python. I personally started with C and C++. So if you're confused, go for it. So the best way to learn basic programming is by learning and practicing on platforms like Hacker Earth and Hacker Rank. This is the homepage of Hacker Earth. Here we'll go to the practice section. As you can see, there are different modules. We want to do the basic programming, data structures and then algorithms. The basic programming module of Hacker Earth covers all the elementary concepts like syntax, time space complexities, bit manipulation and recursion. You can read through their concise blocks for theory and then practice questions under the problems section. Once you start getting hang of things, start solving more questions on Hacker Rank. Over here you can put tags based on topics and difficulty. So by now, I hope you know the drill right. You have to learn on Hacker Earth, solve some sample questions over there, and then move to Hacker Rank where you'll find many questions with high difficulty level. At this stage, your learning curve will be very steep because you will be learning and ramping up on various things at the same time, and it's okay to feel overwhelmed. Personally, for me as well, this was a very challenging phase where you have to learn new stuff, wrap your head around new terminologies, confront weird errors which you would be seeing for the first time, resolve them and keep going. So it's alright to feel overwhelmed, but later you'll realize that it's actually not that difficult. It seems difficult because it's new and anything is hard at first. And perhaps that is why static friction is always more than kinetic friction. So once you have a good understanding of these topics, it's time to move to more happening platforms like Code Forces and Code Chef. And here you'll discover a brand new community of coders all in different phases of their journeys. Some just like you, some ultra pro. Why this shift? so that we don't feel lonely anymore. Well, you can count that too. But the best part about these platforms is that you can give real-time contests where everybody solves the same set of questions in a time-bound environment. And towards the end, you get a rank that impacts your overall rating that helps you keep track of your progress. Switching to Code Forces was personally a game changer for me. I started solving more questions in order to level up my game. And it's actually very important to give contests in order to prepare for coding rounds of companies because they both have this exact same pattern and it prepares you for that competitive temperament. But again, this switch can be demotivating when you see your rating fall down after a contest and when you compare with your friends and other coders. But the point is to keep at it and to give more virtual contests which are unrated and slowly and gradually you'll see your rating improve. At this phase I always remembered the brain tattoo of Robin Sharma which is change is always hard at first, messy in the middle and gorgeous in the end. And this is the messy part of our journey my friends. You will see your rating go through many ups and downs but when you zoom out you will see that it was going up. Excelling interviews requires more than just solving a question in the shortest time. Now we just don't want to solve the question correctly but also in the right way. By right way I mean to optimize the time and space complexity and also to write easily readable and understandable code. Hence to practice for these parameters will make yet another shift. Yes. 
to lead code and interview bit this time. On these platforms, you will find questions that you won't find anywhere but in interviews. Topics like linked lists, binary trees are often missed on platforms like CodeChef and CodeForces, but lead code has it all. Lead code has a pattern of giving follow up questions that is even if you have solved a problem correctly, it will ask you to optimize for its space and time complexity and you will often face such situations in interviews as well. Interview bed goes a level higher where there is a timer for every question and there you get to see how much time are you taking to read, understand and solve the question. Interview bed has a collection of very selected questions and they all are very good questions. So I recommend you to solve as many questions as possible on lead code and also complete all the modules under the programming section of the interview bit. It's good to learn and solve data structures and algorithms, but when it comes to projects, we need a different kind of skill set over there. Obviously, these things will also help you there, but just solving data structures and algorithm questions won't help you make projects. So while you're learning and practicing questions of data structures and algorithms, I would also recommend you to explore the development side of things. Oftentimes students get so much confused with which field to choose, which field to make projects in. There are so many options with machine learning, AR, VR, blockchain, Android development, web development. And that is why it is very important for you to explore and learn about these fields and then choose for yourself. Whatever excites you and interests you, you can go deeper into that field and make more projects in that area. <music> There's one more aspect to becoming a good software engineer that is to have good understanding of computer science fundamentals which includes topics like operating system, object oriented programming, DBMS, computer networks, system design etc. As there are already many good resources online from where you can learn these topics from, I won't be covering that part in the video. However, I have linked a blog in the description which has links to all these resources that I'm talking about so make sure you check it out. That's all. I hope this guide was helpful and I was able to add some value to your learning strategy. I really hope you apply all these insights in your life and go through the amazing journey of learning and growth. To ensure that you don't forget the things that I've shared in this video, I have added a roadmap as a form of a blog in the description. So make sure you check it out because it has links to all the resources and platforms that I talked about. Also just an FYI, I write regularly on Medium. Since start of 2023, I'm trying to write a blog every week. So if you like my content over there, feel free to follow and expect a blog every week. I'm super excited for everything that 2023 has in store, whether the coming times are good or difficult, together we'll become the best versions of ourselves. With that, let's make it happen. Go get it! The video has ended, but if you are still wondering that what is this random girl doing here on YouTube, then hey, I'm Rashmi and I'm just trying to share my learnings and experiences with the hope to help someone out there who might need this. You can expect more such content coming by around productivity, self-growth, career in tech, engineering and life in general. If any of this resonates with you, please stick around by subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot. Already we are a member of over 5000 people who have shown trust in what I do. Thank you so much to each one of you. I hope I live up to your expectations and show up and together we create this great community where we all can learn from each other and grow together. With that, it's a wrap for today. I'll see you soon in another video. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye.